Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, June 20th, 2021. This puzzle has a title. It's called Familiar Surroundings. All right, let's get started. Familiar Surroundings? That's so general. I wonder what we're going to have a theme about today. Okay, home for the devil? The devil? These are both capitalized. That's interesting. I feel like if we were talking about like the biblical devil, I don't know if the T would be capitalized. Is that right? Hmm. Is it just Hades? What's one down? Snacks from some trucks. From some trucks, like food trucks. Hmm. Honolulu's blank stadium. Is it Aloha? I wonder if that's right. What's 30 across in a manner of speaking? Hmm. Is that say? Hmm. Those are kind of equivalent phrases. Let's see. Sought feedback from... Hmm. Dream interrupter, maybe. Is that a snore? Yeah, I think I might be way off track here. Okay, let's put in snore. Who boy, another equivalent phrase, or our first real equivalent phrase. Hmm. I don't know, that's so general. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Prisoner accidentally causes a power outage. Okay, this definitely reads like a wackified phrase of some kind. It's got a question mark indicating that it's a theme answer, I think. Prisoner accidentally causes a power outage. Hmm, we're going to need a lot of crossing help on these. Wackified phrases are kind of impossible to get cold. Hmm. Willy in Free Willy, that's an orca. Telecom with a pink logo. Hmm. Isn't that T-Mobile? I think it is. Is it not Snore? Oh, maybe it's an alarm. Oh, geez, okay. And then this is T-Mobile. Okay. Home for the devil. Ah, you know what? We were sort of right because I think the devil is the title of a specific card in a tarot deck. All right. I'm glad we at least noticed that something weird was going on with this one, with the capitalization there. We didn't quite get what it was, but we knew they weren't just talking about the devil as a concept of a, a being. Okay. Sought feedback from... Maybe ran by makes sense there now. And maybe it is Aloha Stadium after all. Oh, and this is tacos, right? Like a taco truck? Okay. And then who boy could be oh baby. It's pretty cute. Okay. DuPont patent of 1938. Hmm. I don't know. Is it nylon? Kind? That could be ilk. This is going to be another theme answer, probably. Southern University beefs up campus security. Yeah. This would be an N if that was nylon. Unlike bread on Passover. Well, they eat unleavened bread during Passover, right? So this would be leavened. Uh, how do you spell that? Leavened like that. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and put in nylon. Uh, I think that's pretty likely at this point. Um, con. I guess that would be like a convict. Hmm. Con conks out something. Reaction to his stomach punch. Would that just be oof, maybe? 
Fairy tale villain. Yeah, that could be an ogre, maybe. Let's try oof. Chow could be grub, both slang terms for food. Add new caulking to, could be re-seal, maybe? Pitcher Hershizer. That's Oral Hershizer. Yeah, I probably have his baseball card in my basement somewhere. Okay. Roosevelt credited with saying, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. I guess that's Eleanor? Uh, how do you spell Eleanor? Is it like that? Eleanor? I think maybe. Okay. You're in Brazil is Ano. Your guess is as good as mine, an equivalent phrase. That should be beats me, I think. This looks like con confused. Hmm. And maybe confuses. Skip it. Skip it. Hmm. Eh, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Closest of pals for short. That should be BFFs, right? Best friends forever. Um, con confuses fuses. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so it looks like what we have for a theme is strings of letter that are repeated twice in a row. So con, con, fuses, fuses. Wow. Okay, so we get wackified phrases that are constructed in that way. Okay, so this is probably why this is L-O-L-O -O here, right? So that means the first word is going to have one more letter and then it'll start again. Work in the kitchen. Hmm, and this is wordplay. Work in the kitchen. Maybe that's need, like if you're working dough. Maybe some leavened dough. Okay, so that would mean this is an N, right? Southern University. Hmm. This must be the name of the university, but it's not looking familiar to me. Pulitzer winner blank St. Vincent Millay. Hmm. I don't know. I would guess Adam. Allen? Allen Allen? Ugh. This seems bad. What's the down here? Saint on the big screen. Is it somebody's name that's Saint? Hmm. How kids might describe dad jokes? Probably lame. Yeah, they'd respond with a groan. Important stretches? Maybe eons? That's a very long time. I guess that would be important. Blank, too proud, hit musical about the temptations. That's probably ain't too proud. AOI though. Omeo Babino Caro, e.g. Hmm. Is it Aria maybe? Yeah, this is all looking wrong in here. So maybe this is eras instead of eons. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense because an era is usually like, it could be important like on a human scale. Okay, so maybe this is Aria. Fellow imposes a strict palm fruit regimen. Okay, so man, man, dates, dates. Because a palm fruit, a date is a kind of a palm fruit, right? Oh my god, man, mandates, dates. All right, well, we kind of got how the theme was working, and then we were able to apply it to just the second theme answer we got filled in. That's really good. All right. Yeah, maybe that'll uh, help for the rest of them. It looks like we've got maybe this one and then three more after that. Excellent. Okay. Key part abbreviated. Hmm. What kind of key? Hmm. Like the Florida Keys? Like a chain of islands? I would want it to be island, but need is just so good. Hmm. Visits overnight. 
stays at, maybe? Hmm. Key part. Could it be like an answer if they're talking about like an answer key? And then this would be Edna, maybe? Elon, Elon. Okay, so maybe it's Elon. I guess that's the name of your university. And then it would be Elongates. Gates. <laughs> they elongate their gates, I guess, making them more secure somehow. Okay. Whew. That was a tough one. I'd never heard of Elon, so that really made it hard to see. Skip it. I guess it's a stone. This clue should really have a exclamation point at the end of it. It really feels like it's missing that because this is this clue is asking literally what is something that you skip and that is a stone. Hmm. Yeah, I really want an exclamation point there. Okay, Pierce Arrow Competitor. Hmm. I have no idea. Is it REI maybe? Do they make like outdoor equipment? Is this an I? Spur. No, that should be Goad, right? Okay, so I guess this is Rio, the car company. Uh, the defunct car company? Okay. Yeah, I guess Pierce Arrow is maybe another manufacturer. We learned a couple of months ago that when you're talking about the band REO Speedwagon, you spell out the letters, but when you're talking about the car company, it's Rio. Yeah, okay. They might dog a dog. I guess that could be fleas. Something that bothers you is dogging you. Ballet inspired fitness method. Hmm. Hillary Clinton vis-a-vis -vis Wellesley College. I guess she was an alumna. Alumna because she's a woman. Alumnus would be male. And alumni is plural. Okay. Move to a new table, maybe. Receipt? Yeah. Hip-hop duo Blank Shrimmerd. Okay. I learned what this was the last time this showed up. It's something backwards so this is drummer's ear i think is what it spells backwards so it's ray shrimmerd forwards yes ear drummers that's how you can remember it okay what dot 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 may represent uh maybe that's morse code it could represent an s right like an sos so maybe this is bar? Yeah, because I think, isn't that what they call the bar on the mirror in ballet, right? Okay, so maybe that's what that is. Cherokee and Navajo. Uh, hmm. I don't know, they're tribes, right? Bounded with could be teamed with or yeah teamed with St. Kitts, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent. Those are all isles. Hmm. Is this just natives? I guess. I guess they were native to North America. Okay. Boston Airport. Um Hmm. No, that's Logan. Okay, good. Okay, so this is nations. All right. Yeah, they're both nations. Okay. I like that better. Okay, so this is Logan. Small songbirds. Hmm. Popular Hyundai. I think they have an Elantra. Okay. I remember seeing ads for that on TV. Jose Marti by birth. I don't know who this is. Yeah, we're gonna need some crossing help on him. Social media pick designed to attract sexual attention. Oh my God, this is so out of my wheelhouse. Okay. Um, hmm, yeah, we're gonna need crossing help on that too, I think. It's not an Insta something, right? Shake and etch a sketch, e.g. That's what you do when you wanna erase it. Okay. Full could be sated, like if you had enough to eat, you'd be sated, you'd be full. 
Chinese zodiac animal. There's a rat. Yeah, I think last year was the year of the rat. Something that can be tried or cracked. I guess you could try a case. You could crack a case. Is this trap? Uh, convenient transport through urban traffic. I guess that could be moped. Can weave in and out of the traffic. So what is this? Is this a thirst trap? Okay, it is. That showed up like a month ago, right? Yeah, because if you're thirsty, you're kind of interested in someone sexually, right? Oh man, a thirst trap. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to learn all these newfangled phrases. Okay, still don't know the bird. Police unit informally. Hmm. I don't know. Blank there. Hmm. It's not like, oh, hey there or something, is it? Web designer's code is HTML. Hypertext markup language, I want to say that stands for. False. Hmm. Some strong solutions. That could be lies, maybe. Is that right? Let's see. Maybe that's ahoy there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, hmm. I have no idea what this is. False. Hmm. Canine? Uh-oh, maybe this is Larks? That's a kind of a small bird, right? Um, false. What could this possibly be? Hmm, this seems weird. This, it doesn't seem like, I, I kind of ran through the whole alphabet in my mind on this letter and nothing really fit well, well except for Mook, but that doesn't really mean false to me. A mook is kind of a, a stooge, right? Hmm, it feels like there's something wrong here. Uh-oh, this is a very trouble spot. All right, well, let's move on and come back to it, but I'm a little worried about that section. Keenness of judgment could be acumen. Sporty trucks in brief could be utes. So yeah, that's short for sport utility vehicles. Ingredient in a Negroni, uh-oh. I don't know, is it Campari? Blank school could be med school. Let's put in Campari and see if that's what it is. I just know that's, that's kind of a type of liqueur. One seeing things with a critical eye. This is wordplay. Hmm. I don't know, this isn't talking about like an art critic, right? A critical eye, like an important eye? What dot 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 may represent, etc. also it can mean, yes. That's a nice little pair for our S clue that we got before. Um, blank march, hmm. Put away some groceries, wordplay, I guess that could be eight. Yeah, maybe you'd be sated after you put away all the groceries into your stomach. Okay, so maybe this is Cyclops. It's critical because it's the only one he has. And if he loses it, he can't see anymore. Okay. Uh, is this Selma March, maybe? Like the march that happened in Selma? UFC fighting style. Yeah, that could be MMA, right? From mixed martial arts. So maybe it is Selma. <laughs> Exclamation points. OMG, yes. Maybe we can borrow one of the exclamation marks from this clue and, and let uh, 25 down borrow one. All right, let's see. Can we get this next theme answer here? Actress Darmus writes Mr. Gas and Ms. Rag. Uh, we learned a little while ago that it's Anna Darmus, right? She was in Knives Out. Um, okay, so let's see here. It's gonna start with Anna. And then Anna again, right? So maybe Mr. Gas, I think Mr. Gas and Ms. Rag are anagrams of each other. So this is looking like anagram, right? Anna G-R. So 
Anna anagrams grams. Oh my God. And these both anagram into grams, right? Anna anagrams grams. Wow. <laughs> these are wild. <laughs> okay. Cardamom spiced brew could be a chai. Love chai during the winter. Wizard of blank, nicknamed for a good massage therapist. I guess Wizard of Oz, a play on the sound of the word Oz. Okay. Actor Aziz, that's Aziz Ansari. He had a show on TV for a little while too. Okay, practiced, um, maybe acted? I don't know about that actually. Target of a pop-up blocker. Hmm, this looks like sight. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna take out acted. Birds bills. Hmm. Birds bills? Like their beaks? It's something plural. Uh oh, the cougars of the NCAA. Don't know college sports. Hmm. Jellied garnish. That does not sound familiar at all. Can we build down from this direction, maybe? Saint on the big screen. Hmm. Dead giveaway? This is wordplay. Hmm. Okay, so it's not a dead giveaway like an obvious clue. I guess it's something that's given away when someone dies. And I guess that would be an estate. <laughs> Very tricky wordplay there. I like that one. Uh, lots could be a ton. Let's hit it. There's an exclamation point clue there. That's how to do it. Okay. So what is something that you hit? Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. What do you hit? Go bad should be rot, right? So why is this net? Let's hit it. Hit the net? Oh, wait a minute. This is not let's hit it. It's not let us hit it because there's no apostrophe, right? So it's let's hit it. So it's allows to hit it? Net? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I just got it. I just made the realization. Let's are shots in tennis that hit the net, right? When a shot hits the net, it's called let. So let's hit it. Let's hit the net. That is so hard. It's amazing. I love it. It's so difficult. Wow. I'm, we did realize that something weird was going on because we did notice the apostrophe missing eventually. Okay. Okay. So this is rot. Oh, what in the world? Good spice to add to guacamole. Try it. Uh, geez. I have no idea. Onion? Yoga pose with an arched back. Ugh. Is it just Asana? Early Ron Howard role. Isn't that Opie? He was Opie on uh, the Andy Griffith show, right? World's best selling musical artists of 2020. Oh man, so it was just last year. It's got to be BTS, right? They're like so popular. The K pop band. Hmm. Body of water that's home to the world's largest marine reserve. Hmm. That doesn't sound familiar. High five. An equivalent phrase. That should be up top. That's what you say to someone if you want a high five. Like fuchsia and turquoise. Hmm. They're both kind of bright colors. Visually. Hmm. Maybe this is cumin? Ooh, I'm gonna have to try that. So this is Ava Marie Saint. I've never heard that name. Yeah, we needed all the crosses on that one. That was really hard. Hmm. 
is this Cobra? I think it has to be right for the yoga pose. And then, hmm. Like fuchsia and turquoise. M-I-S? Miss? Well, we got the first section of this. It's looking like, maybe it'll be four letters long. Let's see. Smartphone advises on poker bets. Apps. Oh no. No, it can't be apps, right? No. Yeah, no, it can't be. Hmm. Because there's an R here. Either this is three letters long, and then this is the beginning of the end of it. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's app appraises raises. <laughs> oh man. Is that, yeah, because you raise in poker, right? App appraises raises. <laughs> that was so tough. Boy, we kind of got right on the app part at the beginning though, that helped. And then we saw a praise pretty soon after that because the R. Oh man, <laughs> these are pretty fun. These little word puzzles. Um, is this about like mistaking one color for the other? They're so different. Low bows or maybe low bows? Hmm, jellied garnish, yeah. Practiced. Can we build up from here, maybe? Categorize? Hmm. There's no one on me. There's no one on me? It probably starts with I'm, right? But I don't know, I'm free? Hi-hat attitude? Giving someone the hi-hat is kind of looking down on them, right? Um, probably ends in I-S-M, some kind of ism, but uh, snobism? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna be. Georgia-based insurance giant. Hmm, is it Geico? Popular dog, 105 down. See, 104 down. Popular dog what? Popular dog food? Is it Alpo? This is food, and this is an A. This would be AF. Maybe that gives us Aflac instead for the insurance giant. Okay. A lot of temporary answers put in there helped us see exactly what was going on. Okay. Alpo. Okay. Kink song that Weird Al Yankovic parried as Yoda. Is it Lola? Hmm, I'm so bad at music. A short one by Ogden Nash reads, Parsley is Garsley. <laughs> is that a poem? No, oh, well, it doesn't quite beat Muhammad Ali's poem for shortest poem ever. Okay, even blank, even odds maybe? Okay, is this misapplied? Huh. How are they misapplied? Hmm. Oh boy, this is hard. Is it misapplied? It, this probably ends in C, right? Because of this A at the end. Can that help at all? Maybe practiced is adept. Yeah, that E actually did help. And then maybe an ad site would be blocked by a pop-up blocker. And this is aspic. Yes, I have heard this word before. Okay. Um, so what is this hi-hat attitude? Elitism. There we go. Yeah, you're being snobby and looking down on people. Okay. Um... Hmm, is it salams? Maybe? Is a salam a bow? I think it might be. Alola, Yoda, they kind of sound like each other. Is this the Ross C? Like fuchsia and turquoise. 
Misspelled. Are these misspelled? Oh, I guess is the I and the O swapped here? And then is the S and the C swapped? Oh my God, I'm having a hard time seeing like what the right spelling is. Oh my God, okay. Let's leave, let's get out of here before I start to question reality. Okay, I guess it is Lola. All right, yes, let's just assume this corner is fine. Uh, categorize, yeah. Yeah, we didn't get that, did we? Birds, bills. Is it? Hmm. I think this has to be plural, so it's a three letter word for a bill. Hmm. Kind of question. Not a rhetorical question. Old wheels? Hmm. Like an old form of transportation, maybe? Told you so. Maybe aha? Document with two accents. Is that a resume? Yeah, resume has a couple of diacritical marks above the E's, right? Okay. And then maybe told you so is C. Hmm. All right, well, we got a little bit of help down here. Break. Hmm. One kind of plastic. Is it Amex? That's very tricky, using the word plastic to stand in for a credit card. Business card abbreviation. Maybe extension? Smelt things? I guess ores are smelted, right? To turn them into pure metal? Okay. Break. Hmm. This is plural, isn't it? Maybe it's not ending in an S though. Maybe it's like A-E at the end, but then E-E-S-T, hmm. What are these here? Tour group? This is probably either golf or military tour. So it could be the USO or the PGA maybe. Connecticut based insurance giant. I know that one, that was just on the puzzle. And I've been to Hartford a few times, so, or New Haven. I've driven through Connecticut enough times to have seen this. This is Aetna. Okay. Um, so I guess it's PGA, I guess it's golf. I feel like getting the beginning of this theme answer will help us get it. And then that'll help these middle downs quite a bit. Little eggs. It's not over. Little eggs, hmm. Macabre illustrator Edward, that's Edward Gorey. Okay, so maybe it's row like fish eggs. Those are little eggs, okay. All right, so maybe this PR will be enough. Doctor acquires antibiotics. It seems like this should be procures, right? For acquires, this URE looks like it's gonna be part of procures. So maybe it's pro, procures cures this is great i love this theme it's so fun and like being able to use our knowledge really helped a lot like all the way through categorize i guess that could be a sort i think that is a word that means categorized you think about the word like assorted i always thought of that as kind of meaning jumbled but maybe a sort you get things back into a certain order Okay, so maybe there's no one on me is like a sports thing. You could say I'm open if you want someone to pass to you. Okay, daughter of Ned Stark on Game of Thrones. That's Arya Stark, yes. Unnamed somebody. So and so, nice, okay. And then I guess a yes, no is a kind of a question, good. Old wheels is a used car, there we go. And then, is this BYU? Nebs? Is that a real word? Neb? Oh boy, I don't know if I've heard that before. I think this has to be Edna. I was leaving this open, but I think 
I'm much more sure about this section. There's an answer and a key, right? And Edna's a name. Yeah, because we're gonna have trouble up here too. Oh man. Okay. What an integral can be used to calculate. Hmm. An integral. Financial planning option for short. Uh, maybe should be an IRA, an individual retirement account. One of the Obamas, Malia. It's one of Barack and Michelle's daughters. Okay. Area? Yeah, an integral could probably be used to calculate an area. Okay. New York has 28 of them. Hmm. New York. 28 is kind of a lot. Hmm. What are we counting? Blank Park, Colorado. Oh, that was just on the puzzle like two days ago. It's Estes Park, Colorado. I don't know how much longer I would have remembered that, but it was still in my memory today. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's electors in the electoral college. I think it is actually, that sounds about right. Boy, that's not really giving you any indication of what it's asking about that's tricky. Raw deal from a restaurant, wordplay. I don't know, is this about sushi? Hmm, off-road ride for short should be an ATV, right? All-terrain vehicle. Oh, is this ceviche? Yeah, okay, that is about raw meat of some kind, right? Okay, one's making you duck down. Oh, wordplay. No, eiders don't make you duck down. They make themselves duck down. Yes, you should not be taking down from eiders. Okay, payment often made around January 1st. Dues? Like, I don't know, like union dues? Indian wedding adornment? Yeah, that should be henna, right? Work from Roxanne Gay or... Gia Tolentino, oh man, yeah. I know Gia Tolentino writes for The New Yorker. I've heard Roxane Gay's name before, I'm not sure what she writes for, but yeah, they've, they're both essay writers, yeah. I've liked Tolentino's writing in the past quite a bit. Okay, water, clover, and adder's tongue. Hmm, I guess they're ferns, maybe? Fight setting could be an arena, yeah. Purity test, I guess that's an assay, right? Because I think assay is specifically talking about ore, actually. This kind of ore. I think if you're testing ore, you're assaying it. And then this is organization whose plans are up in the air. Wordplay, Federal Aviation Administration, yeah. They're definitely concerned with everything up in the air. Spanish hand, that's mano, right? Like mano a mano. Spanish love is more. This is a very Spanish heavy section over here. Application figs. Application, hmm. Like the verse, roses are red, violets are blue in brief. Hmm. In brief? Word that appears with confetti when texted on an iPhone. That's congrats. I've seen that happen before. Okay. Uh, what is this? Is this anonymous? This Roses a Red poem was written by an anonymous author. Boy, they missed out on a lot of royalties. Okay. Um, is this SSNs? You put your social security number on an application? I guess maybe. Heretics flout them. Heretics flout dogmas, I guess, like religious dogmas. Okay. They may be checked at the door, should be IDs. Big name in synthesizers. I don't know anything about music, but I've been around enough people talking about Moo synthesizers to have retained that name. Blank cannon, sci-fi weapon, ion cannon. Yeah, I think they use those in Star Wars, don't they? Okay. Um. Oh, geez. Is this Havanan? Like he was born in Cuba, maybe. It's gotta be a place, so I think that has to be our guess. Oh, and this is Vice. Oh, man. Yeah, and then this is false, like mock, right? Like like a mock turtleneck or mock meat or something like that. Boy, 
Boy, we just needed a little break from it, and coming back, we just... Everything just fell together, didn't it? Man, okay. So, I think our last section we haven't filled in is here, right? So, maybe it's BYU for Brigham Young University. And then NEBS. Maybe we learned a new term about birds today. That'd be exciting. Nice. Okay, I guess it was NEBS. 43 minutes, that seems about average for us on a Sunday. Taking our time, enjoying this very nice theme here. Yeah, I really liked this theme a lot. Just doubling each kind of... I guess they're sort of words, either names or words. Con, con, fuses, fuses, Elon, Elon, Gates, Gates. Man, man, dates, dates. Yeah, these are really good. Yeah, they were so much fun to like figure out. I liked that a lot. Uh, yeah, that was certainly the highlight of the puzzle for sure. Um, there wasn't like a lot of other long stuff. There was some other, you know, fairly nice, like kind of mid-length fill. So-and-so I liked. Elitism is kind of nice. This Elector's one was so hard. Yeah, but I think, you know, really the star was the theme. Um, yeah, I just wish you could not... I, it's so easy to make a pun out of down, so I understand why people do it all the time. It just makes me sad. As a fellow waterfowl, I don't like ducks losing their feathers. Okay, this was funny that this was just on the other puzzle. Thirst trap, though. That's a good piece of fill. <laughs> it's very modern. Yeah. And this was tricky, too. This was so tricky. I liked this. I was pretty proud of how we managed to put this corner together, putting in provisional answers and then having that kind of work out for us. I liked that a lot. I think the tricky clue of the puzzle, though, was definitely this one. Let's hit it. <laughs> I just loved this. It's so hard. <laughs> it was great. Oh, man. It was so good. See, they know how to do the exclamation mark clues, so this one definitely should have had one. But yeah, that and Eider's is my only real complaint here. I think, you know, there's some small stuff sticking it all together, but these were just so much fun. I loved them. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving this double-double theme along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday, where we'll go over some basic crossword solving strategies. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you.